Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Slytech. Today with a combined version of the ELT and LED devices segment of my after overhead. Yes, you have heard right. I have made a combined version of these two panel segments. Normally these are independent segments of the overhead panel. But when you are looking at the ELT and segment here, it's just one single LED and a single switch. And when I want to keep up with the modularity of my overhead panel segments, then I would have to make a single D sub connector and a separate um, power connector for the backlighting just for this panel. And so I have decided that I make a combined bottom and middle panel segment for these two and just the two top plates are made separately. And so I come out with two nearly full DSA plugs because at the LED devices panel there are a lot of LEDs to connect. To build this panel you will need a push button, one big on off switch, yellow and green 5mm LEDs, an annunciator, 8 15mm hex standoffs, a black switch guard, the bottom and middle plate, the two top plates and the backlighting plate. To make the separation of the different chambers for the LEDs I first thought of cutting these out with a laser just like the panel but I was afraid that the heat of the lasering process could deform these little walls of the chambers and they would bend. And so I came out with the idea of um, constructing and 3D printing these chambers here and making an inlay for the panel. And these parts fit in together really perfect with a tight fit in my case, I just have to ensure that uh, the cutout is 0.2 millimeters wider than the 3D printed part. To hold these LED in place, I first thought of making a PCB where they all um, could be placed and sorted in. But this would have been a lot of work on top of this here and so I tried to just um, bring them in directly into uh, the bottom panel and this works great when I just make the uh, cutout holes here 5 millimeters for the 5 millimeter LEDs they sit here with a tight fit and they won't come loose I think and after this I just uh, will solder them together. All ground pins of the LEDs are soldered together.
After everything is assembled and soldered together, I have written down everything here in my connection sheet. By the way, this connection sheet helps me um, also earlier when I'm soldering um, the cables to the D sub connectors. So I have written down which pin belongs to which cable. You can see I have written down all the variables I will use later in Prosim and MobiFlight, the belonging pins of the Arduino, which type I have here, the name uh, which Prosim is using for this device, the resistors, the corresponding offset and bit value I'm using, and here the pin on the D sub connector. I will upload this connection sheet to my website so uh, you can read everything in detail here. Let's have a look to the configuration in MobiFlight. And here I have on the inputs tab made um, the H06 and H39 switches, which is the armed and on switch on the ELT panel and the test button on the LA devices panel. When you want to know more about uh, setting up these configurations in MobiFlight, then you can watch my dedicated video where I explain everything of this topic in detail here. For now, I just want to show you, I have uh, made these uh, two inputs here and all the outputs, you can see everything with an H at the front uh, is an LED here which is configured here and it can be controlled by MobiFlight. Let's have a look at the configuration in ProSim and here you will find everything you need in the config and configuration menu. There we are and you go on to combined config. There are a lot of LEDs and also these two switches you have to uh, control and everything is gathered in the Michel Angeles um, category here. And you can see there are over 200 uh, other components and you can make it more easier for you just use the search function. And in my case, you search for flaps and you can see it filters out all the other devices. And here under indicators, you will find the eight flap um, devices here where I already have inserted the offsets. The same procedure for the slats. And there are the 24 LEDs which can be controlled. And you can see I have all the offsets inserted already. And the other buttons you will find uh, with the method too. Just search for test here, for example, and you will find on the switches the LED devices uh, test off and test pushed um, state of the switch. And I have used the pushed state in my panel here. Oh, and now we can test if everything is working here. In MobiFlight, we are pushing run. I have a running prepared in the background and ProSim. On the right here, you can uh, see um, ProSim displays where I have brought uh, this panel segment in the front here. Let's start with the annunciator here. And to test it, I can uh, push here on the annunciator on the display. And when I push it, um, the test function in ProSim uh, is started and you can see the LED lighting up here on the panel. So this is working. Let's go on to our switch. At the top here, I can open it. This isn't controlled, of course, but when I flip the switch, then you can see in the displays tab here, the switch is opened. And when I close it, it closes too. So this is working. Now let's come to our LEDs here. And for this, I will extend the flaps in prepared full and we should see a lot of uh, lights go through here. So I now extend the flaps and you can see they are in transit and extended transit again. 
and off. And they have the same state as the flaps here on the display tab. In some panels, um, these uh, extended and fully extended lights for the flaps are made of four uh, LEDs. I have decided that I will do them just with two LEDs because I was afraid that when I use um, more LEDs on the same output of the Arduino and experiment with the uh, resistor, then they would uh, have a little different brightness than all the others. And uh, so I decided just to use these two here. But they are all working. I will uh, now return the flaps here in prepared and let's see if something is going on. Yes, there we can see it. It takes a little bit of time, but uh, the flaps are coming back. And I've seen one LED. Haven't worked here at the moment. I will have to check this later. But all in all, I think most is working now. And here it is, finally installed and working. Uh, not too complicated um, panel here. You have to keep some things in mind, especially how to arrange these LEDs and especially soldering them all. And these are a lot of soldering connections, especially when you want to keep it modular as I do it here. At the creation date of this video here, uh, every LED is a single output uh, on the Arduino when I use MobiFlight. There is a new update um, that can use shift registers and I think this can be a very efficient solution uh, when you don't have to use uh, output for every LED here. Let's see what the future brings here. But if you don't want to invest so much time on thinking and designing this panel, then you can um, buy a membership on my website and you can find all the files that you need to um, cut out these parts here on your CNC or laser in the download section. You will find all the plans for the panels, the uh, 3D printed files uh, for the segments, the annunciators and so on and many more files to build your own overhead at home. So I have to go on to the next episode of my overhead panel and if you don't want to miss this episode then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.